But Chad, the air is pretty clear here at the staging area where, as you can see, there's a lot of emergency crews kind of hanging out in this area. Earlier this afternoon, I talked to some of the people who live around this evacuation zone, some seeking shelter, others staying put. I'm fine. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. There's a steady number of customers at the Shell station on Indiana Avenue. You're paying card cash. But clerk Richard Nixon says it's nowhere near what he usually sees on a weekday. Because of the sun burning is the factory, so we have slow business. Everything is closed surrounding our offices. Everything is slow, so customers also be slow here. The gas station is one of the few still open on the edge of an evacuation zone extending in a one mile radius around the Weaver fertilizer plant due to a fire that fire officials say could cause an explosion. Do you feel safe being here right now? I think so. Yeah. I am believing that we are safe. So grace of God, we are safe. Some of his customers are people like Oscar Legrand, who lives on the edge of the evacuation area. He says they're staying inside as much as possible with no plans to leave. Not the, right now, no, because of the smoke has died down a whole deal, a great deal. If it was still getting a great deal of smoke in there, the wind has changed too, the direction has changed. But others closed their businesses and got loved ones out. I definitely have more peace about it. Sharon Johnson runs a group home near the plant. Her four residents were taken to a hotel. We had to uh, kind of pack clothes, try to explain to them what we were doing, and kind of rush out. And um, I'm sure that was very confusing for them. She's also hosting her brother and his family, who live in that part of town, trying to make the most of a very stressful time. Actually treating it like a snow day. We're pretty glued to the TV right now and just spending time together. Officials are continuing to monitor the fire and they say that uh, the potential for the explosion runs through tomorrow morning. Governor Roy Cooper is expected to be here tomorrow to meet with state and local officials about the fire. That will also be sometime tomorrow.